Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam Preliminary Questions in the topic Internal Combustion Engine and this is lecture number 24. The first question from 2017 question paper. A four cylinder diesel engine running at 1200 rpm develops 18.6 kilowatts. The average torque when one cylinder was cut out was 105 Newton meter. If the calorific value of a fuel of the fuel was 42,000 kilojoules per kilogram and the engine used 0.34 kilogram of diesel per kilowatt hour, the indicated thermal efficiency was nearly. There are four options given. 29%, 26%, 31%, 23%. The correct answer is 29%. So, we will see how in the next slide. The answer to the problem, the fuel consumption is BSFC into brake power. So, BSFC is given as 0 0.34 kilogram per kilowatt hour. Brake power is given as 18.6 kilowatt. So, this is 6.324 kilograms per hour. Brake power when one cylinder was cut off. BP1 equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60. So, you have to calculate substituting 2 into 3.14 into 1200 into torque equal to 0 0.105 divided by 60 equal to 13.2 kilowatts. The indicated power IP1 equal brake power minus brake power 1. So, brake power 1 is the brake power when the first cylinder is cut out. So, total brake power is 18.6 minus 13.5 equal to 5.4 kilowatt. So, IP1 indicated power of the first cylinder is 5.4 kilowatts. Indicated power of four cylinders IP total indicated power equal to 4 into 5.4 equal to 21.6 kilowatts. So, indicated thermal efficiency equal to indicated power divided by the fuel consumption into calorific value. So, 21.6 into 3600 divided by 6.324 into 42,000 is the calorific value equal to 0 0.293, which is 29.3 percent. It is the answer to the problem. The next question from 2017 question paper, in a most test on a cylinder, two-stroke SA engine, the brake power is 9 kilowatt and the brake power of the individual cylinders with a spark cutoff is 4.25 kilowatt. and 3.75 kilowatt respectively. The mechanical efficiency of the engine. So, it is a two cylinder, two stroke cycle SA engine. The mechanical efficiency. So, brake power when all the cylinders are working, brake power equal to 9 kilowatt. Indicator power when the first cylinder is cut off, IP1 equal to BP minus BP1 equal to 9 minus 4.25 equal to 4.75 kilowatt. Indicator power when the second cylinder is cut off equal to IP2 equal to brake power total brake power minus BP2 equal to 9 minus 3.75 equal to 5.25 kilowatt. The total indicator power of the engine, two cylinder engine, IP equal to 4.75 plus 5.25 equal to 10 kilowatt. So, the mechanical efficiency equal to brake power divided by the indicator power. So, 9 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.9, which is 90 percentage. So, the mechanical efficiency of the engine is 90 percentage. The correct option is option A. The next question from 2018 question paper, a four stroke single cylinder SI engine of 6 centimeter diameter and 10 centimeter stroke running at 4000 rpm develops power at the mean effective pressure of 10 bar. The power developed by the engine is 9.2 kilowatt, 9.42 kilowatt, 5.54 kilowatt, 4.92 kilowatt and 2.94 kilowatt. So, the power developed, the answer to the problem, power developed equal to power equal to mean effective pressure into pi by 4 d square L n. This is the area volume of the cylinder into n by 2 into 60. So, substituting mean effective pressure equal to 10 bar. So, 10 into 100 to convert into kilo Pascal pi by 4 into d diameter equal to 0 0.06 meter square uh, into stroke length 0 0.1 into speed equal to 4000 divided by 2 into 60 this is equal to 9.42 kilowatt. So, the answer is option A 9.42 kilowatts. 
Next question from 2015 question paper. A spark ignition engine has a compression ratio of 8 and the volume before compression is 0 0.9 meter cube per kilogram. The net heat interaction per cycle is 1575 kilojoules per kilogram. What is the mean effective pressure? So, we have four options 20 kilopascal, 20 bar, 2000 pascal and 2 bar. The correct answer is 20 bar option B and we will see how in the next slide. Volume before compression V1 equal to 0 0.9 meter cube per kilogram. Volume after compression V2 equal to V1 divided by compression ratio. So, 0 0.9 divided by 8 equal to 0 0.1125. Sub to volume V1 minus V2. So, V1 0 0.9 minus 0 0.1125 equal to 0 0.7875 meter cube per kilogram. So, mean effective pressure equal to work done divided by the sub to volume V1 minus V2. This is 1575 divided by 0 0.7875 equal to 2000 kilopascal which is 20 bar. So, 20 bar is the correct answer to the problem. The next question from 2016 question paper. A single cylinder four stroke cycle oil engine is fitted with a rope brake. The diameter of the brake wheel is 600 millimeter and the rope diameter is 26 millimeter. The dead load on the brake is 200 Newton and the spring balance reads 30 Newton. If the engine runs at 600 rpm, what will be the nearest magnitude of the brake power of the engine? There are four options here 3.3 .3 kilowatt, 5.2 kilowatt, 7.3 kilowatt, and 9.2 kilowatt. So, the brake power answer to the problem brake power equal to for rope brake diameter, the formula to calculate the brake power equal to 2 pi n into W minus S into capital R plus small r divided by 60 into 1000. So, W is the load, S is the spring balance reading. Capital R is the diameter of the drum, small r is the, uh, sorry, so capital R is the radius of the brake drum and the small r is the radius of the rope. So, substitute the numerical value is 2 into pi into 600 n equal to 600 r rpm into W 200 Newton minus 30 Newton into 0 0.3 meter plus 0 0.013 meter divided by 60 into 1000 which is 3.34 kilowatt. So, the answer is option A 3.3 .3 kilowatts. The next question from 2015 question paper, a single cylinder four stroke cycle engine fitted with a rope brake, the diameter of the brake wheel is 600 millimeter and the rope diameter is 26 millimeter. The dead weight on the brake is 200 Newton and the spring balance reads 30 Newton. If the engine runs at 450 rpm, what will be the brake power on the engine? So, the similar type of problem with a different data. So, there are four options given here 1.5 kilowatts, 2.5 kilowatts, 3.5 kilowatts and 4.5 kilowatts. We calculate again. So, the brake power to, to calculate the brake power with the rope brake diameter. So, the formula is 2 pi n into W minus S multiplied by capital R plus small r divided by 60 into 1000. W is the load which is 200 Newton. S is the spring, spring balance reading which is 30 Newton. Capital R is the diameter of the radius of the drum. 300 millimeter which is 0 0.3 meter and the small r is the radius of the rope which is 0 0.013 meter substituting the speed equal to 450 rpm substituting and calculating the power is 2.5 kilowatt. So, option B is the correct answer 2.5 kilowatts. Next question from 2014 question paper the mechanical efficiency of a single cylinder four stroke engine is 80 percentage. If the friction power estimated to be 25 percent 25 kilowatt, the indicated power will be. So, we have four options here 100 kilowatt, 125 kilowatt, 150 kilowatt, and 175 kilowatt. So, the indicated power answer to the problem mechan from the definition of mechanical efficiency, brake power divided by the indicator power. So, this is also equal to brake power equal to indicator power minus the friction power divided by the indicator power. So, this is 1 minus Fp by Ip. So, substituting mechanical efficiency 0 0.8 minus equal to 1 minus 25 by Ip, friction power equal to 25 kilowatt. So, rearranging indicator power equal to 25 divided by 0 0.2 equal to 125 kilowatt. The answer is 125 kilowatt. The indicator power of the engine is 125 kilowatt. The next question from 2021 question paper, the mechanical efficiency single cylinder four stroke cycle engine is 60 percentage. The friction power is estimated to be 30 kilowatt what is the indicator power? Again, the similar question with the different data. 
there are four options given here 120 kilowatt 75 kilowatt 150 kilowatt and 130 kilowatt so we will calculate using the same formula mechanical efficiency equal to brake power by indicator power so the brake power is also indicator power minus friction power divided by the indicator power which is 1 minus friction power by indicator power substituting mechanical efficiency 0 0.6 equal to 1 minus 30 by ip rearranging ip equal to 30 divided by 0 0.4 equal to 75 kilowatt so the correct answer is 75 kilowatt option b the next question from 2014 question paper a single cylinder four stroke engine operating at 80 percent mechanical efficiency develops a brake power of 60 kilowatt the indicator power and power loss to friction are we have 40 kilowatt and 15 kilowatt 75 kilowatt and 20 kilowatt 40 kilowatt and 20 kilowatt 75 kilowatt and 15 kilowatt we calculate indicator power ip equal to brake power by mechanical efficiency so 60 divided by 0 0.8 equal to 75 kilowatt so power loss due to the friction fp equal to indicator power minus the brake power so 75 minus 60 equal to 15 kilowatt so the indicator power is 75 kilowatt and the friction power is 15 kilowatt so the answer is option d 75 kilowatt and the 15 kilowatt so we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical engineering subject and i upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the youtube channel so you subscribe the channel use the video for our better learning Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again with another video lecture on the solution to the UPS engineering series exam questions. Until then, bye.